Step 4. Registering a Subscription In this step, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of GraphQL's subscription feature. A subscription is a way to register to get a message stream coming out of a GraphQL API. It's very similar to message brokers technologies such as RabbitMQ or Kafka. And what we need to do is we need to tell GraphQL that I, as a user, am interested in receiving messages on a particular event or a particular channel. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to do it through the GraphQL Playground UI. So if, if indeed the GraphQL Playground is not up and running, follow tasks 1 and task 2 to authorize. But now we're going to go directly to task 3 and we're going to register for the subscription on event handle and excuse me on event added and what this means is that every time a action a mutation or a query happens within the graphql api under imbob which is this api a message will be sent out according to the event that happened okay and this will become clear as we do it in the step that follows but right now we need to just register the event so i'm going to copy the event by hitting the copy icon in uh, Katakoda on the left side under the instructional text. And I'm going to go back to GraphQL Playground. And I'm going to open a new tab. And let's see if the authentication headers came over magically. And you can see they did. And this means I'm authenticated into the API. And you saw this in previous steps. Now, let me paste in the subscription. And again, let me review what this is saying is I'm interested in a subscription on event added. And whenever a message gets fired on on event handled, uh, added, excuse me, return back the ID of the message, the uh, name of the message, the body of the message, when the message was created and when the message was stored. Now, this is not arbitrary. This is all defined within the GraphQL API IMBOB documentation. And this is done through um, subscriptions. And you can see here I have a subscription. And now you can see I have all the, uh, the events about the on event added subscription. I have the description. And I also have a definition of what event looks like. And you can see event has an ID, for event name, date, date stored at, created at, and the uh, body of the uh, message. So again, let's register the subscription. And I'm going to run the subscription query. And you can see now it's listening. And that's all we need to do in this step. In the following step, we're actually going to generate messages against this subscription.